I'm 22 years old. My name is David. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hey, I'm Dusty Biles. I'm 33 years old. I'm from Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. I first started using drugs whenever I was 16 years old. I was introduced to marijuana. Uh, my mom and dad divorced whenever I was three years old. And the issues that I saw was, it was the fighting. Uh, the, the destruction in that was horrific. Um, my earliest childhood memories of uh, just growing up, we never really had much. I'm adopted, and so uh, my mother, she was single, and um, the foster people really wasn't trying to help, help her with anything. I was told my father had raped my mother. I came through a rape as a rape child. I, I, I assumed that's why my father never came around. I knew of the Lord, but I really didn't know God to try to compare him and from my, and my other father, from like a fatherly perspective, you know what I mean, or like a, a daddy perspective. And sometimes it caused a bitterness in my heart, bitterness in my young soul at that time, because I just, I, just, I just didn't know. I felt like I was thrown away like a piece of trash, you know? I felt abandoned by my family. I was looking for relief somewhere. I found acceptance in the streets. I had gang, I was started gang banging when I got up in age. It was like a brotherhood, like, they said they loved me, you know? They gave me some food and everything like that when I didn't have nothing, or I guess, and we were supposed to have each other's back. See, the thing is, when I had got locked up when I was in prison, I was fighting everybody. My soul was dark. I was damaging myself. I was trying to take myself out, putting ropes around my neck, trying to hang myself. And I cried out to God and I said, God, please help me. I'm at the end of the road and I don't know what to do. Later on that next year in 2018, I was started to go into Bible studies just to get out my prison cell because they had me on some daily restriction where I couldn't um, be in population with everybody else. So I started going to Bible study. And little did I know, like I always say, I started going for one reason, but God had my heart going for another. I was at this Christian event and me and my, my gang members, I had a friend named Luke, he was 19 years old. And he was on, he's on fire for God, he's still locked up. But I came unto him and I wanted to express like how I was feeling like, cause you know more about this than I do. It was preaching and everything and God had touched my heart. And I said, you know what, this is it. I went straight to my gang leader cause my gang leader had went too, who was good friends. I held out my hand and I said, listen man, this started with you and it's gonna end with you. Listen, man, I'm getting out of this game, bro. And I told him I believe that God got a better plan for my life. I feel like God has something for me in my life. See, Jesus said, for his commandments are not burdened. And yes, we do war with our flesh and our spirit. But the Bible says, hate evil and cling to what is good. I was on the verge of losing my mind. And I'm, I still feel like there's times that, you know, not everything is jiving like it should. You know, that's okay. God can fix that. He is fixing that. And it's crazy because see that next three weeks later, the same person that I shook his hand was the dude that I was under as a gang leader. God has saved him too. And he laid down his flag for the Lord. And there's some other, and some other people under him laid down their flag for the Lord. And it was like something, we, everybody just like start coming to these Bible studies, different bloods, crypts, you know, like people just, just trying to find something new in that hell hole, man, trying to find some life, man. Thank you, Lord. And that's all we can say sometimes. Thank you.
Thank you, get up and thank him for the sunshine, get up and thank him for the grass, the birds. This is beautiful. God restored me mentally. You see life in my eyes. When you see me smile, you are looking at the glory of God because I was truly dead. I was a dead young man walking. I promise you, like God restored me mentally and spiritually. I never realized that the love of God was so deep. God's ultimate plan is for us to follow in the footsteps of his son and his beautiful life. I never had so much compassion in my heart. I never had so much peace in my heart. I never had so much happiness in my heart and it's truly divine. Ground 40 has been a life-changing experience. I see God in everything. God is good and I praise Him for all my victories. God is really using this place to open up my eyes to more of His goodness, you know what I mean? Like, and it's just a direct focus, man. It's like it weighs you out of the world and it's just you and God, man. It's you and God, man. Sometimes I walk around this place and I, and I seek peace from the Lord and I pray and it just, it's become an inspiration. I've got new people in my family now. And it's like, I got all these people coming up to me, they telling me they love me and all this stuff. Got people buying me. I, come on, man, this is, you know, this is really overwhelming. And I realized, it's like God told me this. He said, son, since your family won't nothing, I'm gonna give you a new one. And that's what God has done. He's given me a new family in this place. So um, I'm really loving Ground 40 and this is the place to be.